All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruch, Rosh. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings. Shalom to the Most High's elect. This is Brother Yagad al back on another lesson. And uh, I wanted to go and get into this article and highlight some key points. And uh, you know, I'll probably just uh, paraphrase and quote some scriptures throughout the article, man. Uh, but I really wanted to key in on some uh, some statements that they made. And because um, it was just reminding me of how a lot of brothers have been speaking on uh, close to this election time, how they was going to come with the vaccination, how the, um, we was getting ready for another uh, lockdown, so to speak, man. Okay? Well, not so to speak, but actually a, a serious lockdown than before. I know um, if I'm correct, up in Canada, they already have been uh, opening up internment camps in Canada for people who have uh, not been vaccinated. If I I uh, fact-checked that and uh, put the article in the bio, uh, Lord willing, after this lesson. Okay, but uh, as always, Lord willing, there'll be some edification in this video. And uh, with that, I'm going to get straight into this article, man, because these are beautiful times that we're in. And you're seeing how the Most High, you saw think is his plans, but the Most High is laying out the forefront for his ultimate test, which is the mark of the beast. All right, being RFID chip, all right, being implemented throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. So uh, this is uh, from uh, CS, uh, CBS uh, News. And this was uh, from today, uh, dated October 26 uh, at 7, 18 p.m. And it says El Paso uh, imposes curfew as virus cases overwhelm hospitals. We are in a crisis stage, all right? And uh, uh, we are right out here in Houston, okay? And we're right here in the Houston camp. So El Paso is uh, uh, in uh, West Texas on the opposite uh, side of Texas, man. But you see they... Starting to do some all uh, uh, setting up the stage uh, test again as far as getting the people conditioned, all right, and bringing back the boogeyman right around the time election is coming up, man. Okay, it says residents in the Texas border city of El Paso have been urged to stay home for two weeks as a spike of corona cases overwhelms hospitals, man. And it's amazing how they'll have you go to sleep and nothing's going on, and the next day all of a sudden the hospital's been overwhelmed with coronavirus uh, virus, uh, outbreaks, man, okay? And this is the ploy that they're going to come with, man, okay? Because further down in the article, uh, it's going get to get into how Trump, uh, they make a statement on how Trump downplayed the uh, coronavirus and ended up getting sick himself, okay? This says the crisis prompted the state to dedicate part of the city's civic center as a makeshift care center for the ill, what does that sound like, man? Okay, I'm going to read that one more time. It says, the crisis prompted the state to dedicate part of its city's civic center as a makeshift care center for for the ill, all right? And not only the men of the Lord, but you and all type of so-called uh, conspiracy theories have been stating how they're going to use these stadiums, civic centers, all right, Walmarts to do what? All right, to turn them into internment or concentration camps, man, Okay. Rounding people up, implementing vaccines, and ultimately it's going to get to the chip, man. Okay? It says, uh, El Paso County Judge Ricardo uh, Saman, Saman, I'll come, come try to get that out as best as can, Saman Ego, on Sunday night issued a state order, a stay home order with a daily curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Violators could be fined 500 uh a uh, fine 500 under the order. All right, and you seeing we living in Second Ezra chapter 15. All right, it's 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 approaching very fast, man. Okay, all right, Esau's getting ready to uh, uh to come in like a flood on 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 these American citizens, man. Okay, using this coronavirus outbreak as an excuse to do so, man. Okay, it says uh, early Sunday, Texas uh governor. Uh, Greg Abbott said about 50 hospital beds will be set up in the convention center and another uh, 50 beds could be added if needed, man. So they're using these convention centers to house uh, uh, so-called uh, coronavirus uh, victims, man. Okay, it says uh, Abbott ordered the uh, alternate care site 
All right, and you see how that's this is one with the highlight certain things how Esau try to switch up his wording, man. Okay, so he ordered the alternate care site to expand hospital capacity in the El Paso area. All right, instead of calling it what it is, man. Okay, they're using terms like alternative care site. Okay, and this is to disguise the true intent of what uh, these devils are getting ready to do here in America, man. All right. It says, uh, in response to the coronavirus surge, he said the site scheduled to open this week will provide additional medical equipment and med and medical personnel. The surge in El Paso cases uh, comes as President Donald Trump downplayed the virus effect on Texas, saying during last week's presidential debate, debate there was a very uh, big spike in Texas. It's now gone. Okay. Now, a lot of brothers had mentioned as soon as they said that Trump was um was sick, okay, and his mentality towards coronavirus, I like downplayed it, uh, didn't uh, label it as something so serious. That was gonna be their, their uh, way to say, okay, well, well Trump possibly could, could have taken the vaccine and now he's better. All right, to use a situation like this, El Paso, a whole city having a, a spike. And coronavirus cases, and then all of a sudden, okay, through these alternative care centers and implement implementing the vaccine, they uh, people have been cured, man. Okay, all right, prophecy is popping and tying together, and this devil is getting ready to uh, uh, to ride, man. Okay, while these people are caught up in the election and voting and all this other madness, man. Okay, the men of the Lord are paying attention to the Most High's prophecies being laid out, okay, before our very eyes, man. Okay. And uh, that's it for this. I just want to bring this article out, man. All right, show how this devil is. We're going to see more cases like that, all right, outside of this El Paso case, man. But getting ready to uh, implement these curfews and start uh, 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 heightening martial law, man. Okay, so this is the time to stay locked into the spirit and the scriptures, man. Okay, and uh, getting ourselves geared and ready spiritually for what's to come, man, so we can be... Uh, seen uh and have mercy in the heavenly father's eyes to protect us in the times to come man okay and as i and i'm uh as isaiah 33 and 6 say man okay wisdom knowledge will keep us stable in those times man roughly paraphrasing all right because that's our true treasure and that's what's gonna keep us grounded when all this thing becomes a nationwide uh, uh situation man okay was lord willing is very soon so i'm gonna end it on that uh lord willing that was edification in this video